What is up, everyone? It's A Dog Supreme, and we're make. I'm go. Yeah, I'm making a video that's going to show you how to make trailer mods for American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator 2. I use a tool called Mod Studio. It's made by WerewolfSoft. Go to WerewolfSoft.tk. I'll have all the links in the description. You're going to want to click on Form. After you click on Form, you'll go to this page register and create an account and after you log in it will whoops wrong page it'll look like this what you're gonna wanna do is go up to the home button and click on whatever game you're you want and then click on the home button again and scroll down to public not public um direct download click on mod studio public beta download now th these top links aren't working for some reason so you're gonna wanna go to mirror one and click on ATS Mod Studio and download it alright now after it's done downloading you'll get a little file WinRAR or zipped file called ATS Mod Studio open it up and it'll look something like this what you're gonna wanna do is um, create a brand new folder on your desktop and name it mod studio and just copy over all the files into here just copy them over and it's all set up now close the unzipped um, file and you can just run the program out of this file Click on the application here. Windows Smart Screen Camp and eh, whatever. It's click on the application and run it and it'll look like this. You can make truck skins, trailers and edit the game variables. We're going to focus on making a trailer. Now you can choose different types of trailers from the tanker trucks to the curtain longs to the reefers there's quite a few in here we're going to use a reefer as an example the next step is to click on trailer skin now in order to get the trailer skins you need to go back into these game files go to data trailers default and click whatever trailer that you chose for us it's the reefer and then go the next step is to go to vehicle trailer EU internal name textures and get the plain DDS file now make sure you copy it and paste it because that file needs to stay in there in order for the mod to work properly because ATS mod studio just um, basically makes a template and fills in the blanks so you're going to want to open this DDS file with Photoshop. Now Photoshop does not open DDS files by default. You're going to need to download another plugin for Photoshop called the NVIDIA DDS Reader. Prop Reader. And open it up and you'll be able to um, edit the trailer. This is a test and one more this is a test alright now that we've done that go to file save as now this is really important you need to keep the name plain and save it as a DDS file if it's not a DDS file it won't work you have to keep the format alright now I already did that so then just click browse and you should be able to find it you know actually better I'm just gonna use one of my current trailers as an example go get the plain file and open it up this is my Amazon Prime trailer 
the next thing you need to do is go to trailer properties now you need to give it some sort of internal name I'm just gonna call it test now you can't use capitals for the internal name that's just the way it works and down here you can choose to enable it in AI traffic or not so you can see it on the road and stuff now this is the trailer mass I don't ever really touch it it just how much the trailer physically weighs not the cargo but the trailer itself so I just usually keep that the same now the next thing you need to do is add cargo first thing you want to do is hit new cargo and this screen will pop up give the car the cargo name is what the player will see and the internal name is just for like communicating in the mod you can set up the cargo mass center of gravity the price ADR class you can make it like explosives gases flammable etc so I'm just gonna name this test and test then you have to choose a cargo group and we'll choose fragile just for an example now the next step is really important you need to choose the companies that will spawn the cargo so these these are where you can pick up this cargo so we're just gonna select a couple randomly in companies that receive this cargo that's where you'll drop off this trailer and you can choose whichever ones you want and then just go save the cargo and select it now if you want you can actually select multiple cargo you can create three different cargos for the same trailer and it'll work just fine next thing you want to do is export the mod and call it let's see documents now I'm gonna save it to the desktop YouTube test trailer alright so you're gonna wanna open that up with WinRAR and it'll look something like this now you, it's a re you don't I don't think you absolutely have to but it's an extremely good idea to add a couple files in the first thing you wanna add in is the manifest SSI open that up now what that is that basically tells gives the game information about your mod and this is the format you could actually like find pretty much find this anywhere you could just copy it right now but I guarantee almost all mods have it you could just copy the template from them display name is test mod the, the version name who made it what category it is in now these two parts right here are very important. This will will basically say um like give an image for icon for it and this will give the description file for it. So I'm going to hit file save and x out. Now you can see right here I have another description text. I'll just drag it over this is a trailer for YouTube and that'll be the description that shows up the next thing you need to do is you need to add some sort of image now I haven't taken any pictures of this trailer yet so you're gonna have to take a picture of it and set it up but it has to be a very specific file size and I don't remember what the size is but I guess I can it should be on the SCS forms and that's pretty much basically how to use Mod Studio. If you have any questions, just put it in the comments below.